What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at a tread switching script for Spearbreaker and Jaw Ranger. Before I get into all of that, I'm going to announce the giveaway winners from last week. And the two winners are Peanut Man and Lath Omar. So if you guys could please post your Steam profile under your comment, and I'll add both of you and gift it directly to you. So no trade offers or anything like that. I'll send you a gift in Dota, and that way no one can steal your account. And if your comment doesn't post, don't worry, I'll see it in spam probably, and I'll get you added up. So um, I'll also be putting a comment underneath your comment to let you know that you won if you don't see this video right away. So I'll give you guys about three, four days to respond to that, and then I'll get you your sets. So congratulations on that, and... I know a lot of you guys watching this video didn't see my other giveaway video, so just a heads up, I'm probably going to be doing another one in about a week or so, so come check me out again. And after that, let's jump right into the scripting. So first things first, we got to make sure we download AutoHotKey from AutoHotKey.com. Just download it, run the installation. It's pretty easy, you can just do express settings for everything. Um, I do this in every video, so everyone knows you have to have this program installed, or else none of this will work. Um, and then I also recommend Notepad++, which you can just get from this website too. I'll, this will all be in the description, and this is just a more user-friendly notepad for doing stuff like this. So I'd recommend that, and that's what I'll be using in this video, in case you were wondering. So let's uh, let's get right into it. So first things first. We gotta know what we're doing, just as always. So we always hop into Dota 2, and I demo the hero I want to be using. So we're gonna be demoing Spirit Breaker. My iron will shall break them. Move them up to max. Grab whatever we need for this. Since it's a power treads guide, we're just gonna grab Prepare power treads. And that's about it. It's fun, enemy. It's pronounced Admiral. I'm also gonna ward so I can see him. Yes. And I'm going to be putting treads in the B slot in my inventory. If this can be any key you want, you'll just have to change it when we're actually writing the script. So, what I want the script to do is, you're going to click Q to charge, right? But it's not going to cast it, actually, until it switches over to int. Then it's going to cast it. Then you're going to be charging, and it's going to switch back to strength. But when you're attacking, it's full damage, but you didn't lose any mana. So, again, I'll show it real quick. I charge ahead. Gonna be from strength of 757 mana over to int. Cast it. Back over to strength. Look there. Pretty simple, but what we're gonna do is make it so every time you charge it does Upon it automatically. You don't even have to think about it ever again, so the jar ranger one's gonna be pretty cool All too, but we're not gonna get to that just yet. To so here's what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our desktop or wherever you want. I have it in my scripts folder, and we're gonna make a new auto hockey script called treadswitch.ahk. I called it, and we're going to edit with Notepad plus plus. If you're doing it like me, you could just use Notepad. And then I have the giveaway winners posted here too, so this will be on the downloadable file, so you guys can see that. And I also put in here disable caps lock if you can, because I disabled it on my keyboard, and it made things a lot smoother when I was writing these scripts. Um, if I accidentally had caps lock pressed, then some keys wouldn't go through sometimes, and it would screw things up, and I'd be like, hey, I think my timings are off, but really it's just caps lock being on. So try to disable it if you can. If not disable it, what I did is I swapped caps lock over to a different key and made that other key caps lock. I used L. So when I click caps lock, it does L, so that way I don't have caps lock turned on really. I won't accidentally click it. So we're gonna do as always is copy and paste in from all my other scripts these little prerequisites I call them and let's throw these at the top keep it clean so these things just make the script work and you don't even need to worry about it just worry about this stuff so um, whenever I do semicolons it's comments so for spirit breaker We are going to do so. This is a bit a bit different from my other scripts. Usually, we do a tilde and then a key so that it still presses that key and does the script. But this time, we're just going to do the key. So I want Q and then the two colons. 
And we're going to send input. And then B. I'm using caps because I turned off caps lock. And for whatever reason, when I was testing with Spirit Breaker, caps needed to be turned on. I don't... Or not... The caps lock didn't need to be turned on. The caps... The capital key letters in the script needed to be there. I don't know why. can't really explain it. If someone can in the comments, please let me know. But for now, just don't worry about it. Just do what I do. And then... Whoops. Sleep. Or 25. Send input Q. We're going to sleep 250. Send input B. Sleep for 100. Send input B. And return. And that's it. So it's Clicks treads, this is assuming they're on strength, changes it to int, sends Q, changes them back to strength again with two more key presses, and then returns. That's it. That's all this is. It's very simple. We're going to save it, and then we're going to double click on it to run it. I forgot to comment those out. Whoops. Comment. Comment. Sorry about that. And now it's running. Get in the tray. Onward. And if you look, changes the end, which is right back to strength. I didn't even touch anything. I'll demonstrate it again. I'm pressing Q right now, letting it sit, right back to strength. I'll do it from somewhere where I'm not regenerating mana so you guys can see a little better. Certainly. Let's start at 757, remember that number. I'm down to 671. That was the lowest point. 650. So, that was about 20 mana difference. I know it's not a ton. But if you think about every single time you cast Charge of Darkness, on um, like any enemy, it's going to save you 20 mana. And with the small mana pool that the Spirit Breaker has, and over the course like of the game, another. it's going to add up very quick. And it's, it does make a, a big difference. You, you'll see it once you start That's playing them. Suggested. And if you've ever played them before and hadn't done this, you'll notice right away, like, wow, I feel like I have so Indeed. much more mana to work with. So now let's look at uh, Draw Ranger and see what we can do with her. So, all, the, all we're going to be doing for this one is grabbing treads. I go in silence. Same thing, spawn axe. Prepare to make way. And Who what you want you is captain? it to be on agility. But cast this. But right before, switch to int. And then right after, switch back to agility. Pretty simple. To battle. And we're gonna try it. So I already copied and pasted this one. It's the same thing as Spirit Breaker, pretty much. So I don't really need to do it again. Um. Q, same thing, doesn't send it right away. Sends the uh, B, then B again to switch the treads. I think these timings need to be a little higher though. Then sends Q again. Well, sends Q for the first time actually. Then sends another B. Then return. So that's it. And actually, I'm going to go back to the original times I had my notes. 15, 25, 150. Let's see how it works. Now it's working. Very well. Onward. There we go, guys. That's all. So be it. Sometimes if it gets stuck on it, just switch it back. It's not not that big of a deal. Just uh. Good enough. So what this can be really useful for is if you're chasing someone down. 
if he's running here and you want to hit him here. My Push the agility, hit him a well. couple times, hit him again. Hit him again. Yep. Silence Seems to be working. Sometimes it gets stuck on in intelligence, but it's no biggie. My bow is okay, dropped. that's it. Um, both of them are working now. I'm going to upload these and let you guys try them out for yourselves. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I love making these. It's fun for me to do. It's a lot of trial and error. It takes me a little while. Um, I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys like that I get the numbers for you so that you don't have to. Um, you can go get your own numbers, adjust mine, make them better, obviously. I hope you do. Let me know if you find better timings that always work or anything like that. Just let me know. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want. And I'll be seeing you guys in about a week or so with another giveaway video. Thanks.